This video describes the process of using the COVID-19 testing materials provided by the University. Each box includes materials for 25 tests and can be shared between people in close or cohabitation. We will provide detailed instructions on how to prepare for testing, perform the swab, extract and test the sample and read the results. Preparing to test In preparation for the test, gently cough three times into a tissue. Blow your nose and then throw the tissue away and wash your hands. Inside the self-testing kit you will find a bag of empty tubes with dropper lids, two bottles of extraction solution, packaged test devices and sterile swabs. Select from a self-testing kit with a valid expiry date, one sealed swab, one empty tube and dropper lid, one of the bottles of extraction solution and one testing device. Open the bottle of extraction solution and apply six drops into the tube, being careful not to touch the tube with the bottle. Place the dropper lid into the tube to prevent spillage, then place the tube down on a flat surface. Performing the swab. Using a mirror, look inside your mouth and find the tonsils at the back of your throat. Your tonsils, or where they would have been if they had been removed, are where you will apply the swab. Break the seal on the swab container and gently remove the swab. Open your mouth wide and whilst avoiding the tongue area, run the fabric tip of the swab over both tonsils, or where they would have been five times each, then remove the swab. Using the same swab, gently insert the fabric end into a nostril until you feel a slight resistance. This should be about 2.5 centimeters or one inch up your nose. Rotate the swab five times, then slowly remove it. Using the same swab, repeat the process for the other nostril. Extracting the test sample First, remove the dropper lid from the tube and, ensuring the fabric tip is facing downwards, place the swab into the tube and swirl it around for 10 seconds. As you remove the swab from the tube, squeeze the flexible sides of the vial to ensure as much liquid as possible is drained from the swab. Place your used swab back into the container it came in. Place the dropper lid back onto the tube to prevent spillage. Testing the sample. Remove the testing device from the packet and place it on a flat surface. Carefully apply two drops of fluid from the tube onto the testing device sample well marked S, making sure not to drop any bubbles of air that may be in the bottle. Place the tube down but don't discard it in case you need to repeat the test. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Reading the result. After 30 minutes, check the control line of the testing device marked C. A coloured line here is indicative that the test has worked, but this is not the test result. This line must be coloured to indicate a valid test. If after 30 minutes, the control line is blank, then the test has failed and will need to be repeated. To do so, simply unpack another testing device and apply two further drops from the tube to the sample well, again being careful to avoid dropping any air bubbles. If the control line is present, indicating a valid test, check the result line of the testing device marked T. A line shown, even a very faint line, is indicative of a positive COVID-19 test result. If you have received a positive result, please refer to the positive result guidelines for further instructions. If there is no line on the testing device marked T, then this is indicative of a negative COVID-19 test result. When finished, return the extraction solution to the testing kit for other people to use. 
Then place the used kit contents in the disposal bag provided and follow the disposal instructions. Store the remaining contents of the self-testing kit in a dry place free from direct sunlight such as a kitchen cupboard.